principal, vice principal to conduct and chairman and vice chairman to conduct in this program. I welcome our chief guest, Mr. P. Hari. Mr. P. Hari is the entrepreneur, blogger and passionate leader for a few decades now. He has spent more than 25 years in study and analyzing about the various companies, brands, business and leaders. While researching, he always gathered and compared real life case studies and insightful success stories from local, regional, national and international business world. His interesting and informative research is now digitized into an online course in the form of a business video case studies so the complex concepts can also be prepared to an entry level management graduate. He is also a computer professional and was involved in a few business ventures in the past. He was also an owner and editor of a successful weekly newspaper of for employment opportunities. He is the founder and director of Microba Educational Private Limited and his current online management education site is micrombaschools.com. I can you very well know about the uh, entrepreneurship development cell in our college uh, institution. Uh, in the program, we have a nice point of view. Entrepreneurship development cell, a big club, we have a college, we have a second floor, we have a second floor, we have a second floor, we have a second floor. So, uh, ED cell, ED cell activity room, a big deal. In our college, la, second floor, la, activity room or the first room. Okay, wow. So, in this area, we have programs organized. Programs means either in a place where programs are organized for programs. Student and entrepreneurs are there. Business ideas, like that, or business idea, so we like that, motivational speakers, Mario. Are you part of it? So, in this, we have the first team, Mr. P. Hari, sir, and the founder, director, Micro MBA Education Private Limited. Sir, and the Business ideas, business term, what the endeavor and ideas we among college students, youth, and various, all the students that are very motivated in this field. So, and the other one, all the sir, welcome, but all the ideas are sir, bhaga, come Malaysia, okay, ma, the 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 time when you go and the, you know, all the business ideas, you know, even just one idea is born of, na, in the opportunity is born of, okay, ma. So, uh, kindly welcome us, uh, Mr. P. Hari for this uh, okay. Who is the richest man today?
the video will take only two minutes. Every two minutes, you will know about at least one company, one brand, or one business plan. Okay, please concentrate a little. Okay, some people know I can very well talk the two minutes. I may take longer time. So better I'll show the video. Video is be more educational. Okay, you are very nanakringa. Genes are very important to do business. Genetics important? Can you give us examples? Okay. Let me let me pay a small one minute video. We often talk about genes. One of the famous proverbs says, like a father, like a son. Is it really true? Is this proverb also applicable in business? Deepak Parekh, Chairman HDFC. Deepak Parekh's father was a banker. Even his grandfather was the first employee of Central Bank. And his uncle HD Parekh was the Chairman of ICICI and the founder of HDFC. Some may think, no wonder, Deepak Parekh too became a successful banker. Larry Page, co-founder of Google. Larry Page did masters in computer science from Stanford University. That is not important. What about his parents? His father and mother both are computer professionals at Michigan State University, USA. Not only that, his father is a PhD in computer field. Still, people may argue that Larry Page is intelligent because his parents are computer professionals. But many successful business people have disproved the theory of genes in business. B. Sundararajan and G. B. Sundararajan, founders Sugana Poultry, Sugana Foods. B. Sundararajan started Sugana Poultry along with his brother in Udmalpet near Coimbatore in 1984. The revenue of Sugana Poultry, Sugana Foods is more than 7,000 crore rupees. What about his parents? His father and mother, both are school teachers, but the sons of the founders of Sugana did not become teachers. Chris Gopalakrishnan, co-founder Infosys. Gopalakrishnan's parents were teachers, and even his grandparents were teachers, but he did not become a teacher. He was supposed to join MBBS, but he missed his MBBS by two marks. So, he did BSc Physics. Then, he did MTech Computer Science from IIT Madras. He became a successful computer professional, and later, he co-founded Infosys. His personal worth is more than one billion dollars. M. Mahadev, founder of Heartbreaks. Mahadevan's father and mother both were doctors, but he did not want to be a doctor. He was teaching commerce in colleges and wanted to do only hotel business. First, he started hotel business, and later he diversified into bakery business. Jeans work in business? No, it is total rubbish. Business has got nothing to do with genetics. Simple reason. There are many first generation entrepreneurs who are more successful than the family business inheritors.
definitely you can change this world. Okay. Now let's talk about the ideas. First, I'll talk about original ideas of some some companies. How to con talk converter. Then I'll talk about the sources of ideas. Sources of ideas that we talk. First, I'll tell you original idea of some company so that we'll be clear about the ideas.
wanted to bring a new food for medicinal and health purpose. Once the brothers picked the conflicts and were delighted with the new image, it was a delicious cereal. Later, they became a ready to eat breakfast and they changed the culture of American breakfast. The revenue of Kellogg's is more than 12 billion dollars. Original idea of life point. William Lever was the co-founder of Lever Brothers in England. In 1894, there was a slum in Liverpool and the slum was overcrowded. There was fear about cholera and more people were dying in Europe. William Lever wanted to help those people in the Liverpool slum. He produced a low-cost bathing soap so that people can afford to buy and safeguard themselves from the cholera. So, he launched Lifebuoy Soap. Today, Lifebuoy is one of the popular basic soaps in the world and it is owned by Unilever. The revenue of Unilever is more than $60 billion. Agreed and developed the software. 
and this software was named as Tally. His accounting software was not only for his farm, he started marketing to the rest of the world. Yes, today Tally is used in more than 100 countries in the world. The original idea of American Express. In 1850, American Express was launched as an express freight company in USA. During the American Civil War, American Express transported military supplies to the Union Army. Later, American Express moved into finance, transferring funds from European immigrants in America to their families in Europe. Later, the company changed slowly into travel services company. Then, American Express invented the travelers chain. It rewrote the rules of travel and finance industry. In 1958, American Express launched American Express Car. Because of this major innovation, people changed to the new habit of shopping without carrying cash. The revenue of American Express is more than $30 billion. The original idea of CMS Group. Ramesh Grover did his mechanical engineering from Pitts Pilani.
Last he noticed his wife was using a dirty drop during her menstrual cycle and she said that the napkins were expensive. He bought a packet of napkin to confirm whether it was a cotton material. But he realized it was not cotton, it was cellulose. Then he searched for the napkin making machine and it costed more than rupees 4 crores. In 2005, by trial and error method, he designed his own machine for rupees 50,000. His machine could make up to 1,000 napkins every day. And the napkins produced from his machines could be sold for less than 2 rupees. His company also supplies machines and raw materials for making sanitary napkins. So far, his company has made more than 700 machines installed in 23 states. Because of his innovation, more than 2 lakhs women stopped using unhygienic rags and started using hygienic sanitary napkins. Not only that, many rural women got employment through his low-cost sanitary making machines. The IIM Ahmedabad and other engineering colleges invited him as a guest speaker. Literally came to his fiancee, and similarly, guy was studied. Then, then the parents of our pioneers, you could bring the company. Yes, she industry. Same film came, bad man. Okay. So next, I am going to talk about how the ideas can come from children. Surprising, right? You know what is Barbie? Have you ever played with Barbie? Barbie doll? Many of the girls, this especially. Let's see what happened. And the water filter. Let's see. From children came to our business idea from children. Mahesh Gupta is a graduate from IIT Kharagpur. He worked for Indoil for a few years. Later, he started his own business making oil flow meter and other products to reduce oil wastage. He was doing well. But in 1999, suddenly his two children fell ill due to jaundice. Doctor explained that it was due to poor quality of water. A great idea stuck to Gupta. Gupta wanted to make his own water purifier and start a business. He did not want to make the mere ultraviolet based purifiers simply because it was not completely killing bacteria and cysts in water. So he decided to use RO, the reverse osmosis technology. He called us then Kent Paul. The turnover of Kent is more than rupees 700 crores. Holiday Inn, business idea from children. Kevin Sugerson was a high school dropout and he was financially doing well. He started buying properties and building homes. In 1951, he was traveling from Memphis to Washington DC with family. On the way, he stayed in a motel with his five children. While paying for the room charges, the motel charged extra money for his kids. Yes, the motel charged extra two dollars per child. Charged ten dollars extra? Kevin Wilson was angry. With a year in 1952, he started Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn attracted the travelers with kids and it is one of the leading hotel chains in the world today. The Holiday Inn hotels are functioning in more than 3,400 locations all over the world. Barbie, business idea from daughter, Ruth Handler and Elliot Handler started Mato in 1945 with Harold Madsen. In fact, Barbie is a mother's gift to her daughter. In 1950s, Ruth Handler noticed that her daughter, Barbara, preferred to play with dolls 
that person with adults rather than infants. Little girls always think about what they wanted to be when they grew up. So, the little girls want to play with adult body doll than young body dolls. Most of the dolls available in the market were made to look like small children. But Ruth Handler exactly understood the mind of the children. She suggested the idea of a three-dimensional adult body doll to her husband, who is the co-founder of Mayo. Ruth Handler created the first Bobby doll and named after her daughter Barbara. Mayo started producing Barbie dolls in 1959 and the first Barbie doll was sold for just three dollars. In the first year alone, more than 350,000 Bobby dolls were sold. The revenue of Mayo is more than four billion dollars. Enjoyed it? Now I'll ask more questions, okay? Was scared about questions? Okay. What is the turnover of NIIT? Correct. Okay. Okay. Or the water filter? Very good. Suguna Poultry? Okay, I'm happy. Really good crowd. Okay. Let's see the next one. It went public in 1996. Today, 
Archie's has around 2,000 outlets and franchises selling gift items, greeting cards and other station items. Anil Muntandani picked the idea from the customers who came to buy sarees. The turnover of Archie's is around rupees 140 crores. In Chennai, no small hotel. Sir, on number. To some extent, okay. Why sir? Why okay. sir? Why 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 the hotel is there, to go very far. What kind of money you have to supply? Then, Raja Gopal was thinking, Oh, Sahapad ke ula demand rekha. So what he did, he sold his own bangla. Avrad vita vittu ke, andha vita ye vada ke edutte, hotel arama chave. So it's crossed more than 5,000 crores. And then our net profit is more than the 5 star hotels. Okay, more than 5 to 6,000 people are working. Uh, okay, as for information, let's come back to this topic. Topic 4. Business ideas from the employees. post it now. Business idea originated from an employee of the company. 3M is a US based company. Mr. 3M was attempting to develop a super strong adhesive in 1968. But instead, he accidentally created a product with a piece of yellow paper stationery with the adhesive on the back. After a few attempts in 1980, the product was introduced in the US as Post-it Note. Later, it was launched in other countries. Post-it Note was an accidental invention from the employee of 3M. It is one of the popular brands of 3M. The revenue of 3M is more than 30 billion dollars. Band-Aid. Business idea originated from an employee of the company. In 1921, Earl Dixon was working for Johnson & Johnson as a cotton buyer. His wife used to get injury often while making food. He used to cover the wound with thin mesh red cloths and tapes. But incidentally, both the cloth and the tape were manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. His boss, James Johnson, saw Earl Dixon's invention and decided to manufacture band-aids to the public. And later, Earl Dixon was also promoted as Vice President of Johnson & Johnson. Surprisingly, Bangalore became one of the popular brands of Johnson & Johnson. than what was being used in American cars. In USA, 
Nobody knew how to make this French seal a vanadium alloy. Henry Ford brought an expert from abroad to make a vanadium alloy mill. This was the part of preparation for the modern team. Ford started using a vanadium alloy in modern day cars. Modern day was more sturdy and powerful than other cars. The turnover of Ford Motor is more than $150 billion. Steve Jobs picked up his ideas from his competitor. In the early 80s, the founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, and the CEO, John Scully, visited Sony. They met Akio Morita, the founder of Sony. Steve Jobs was fascinated with Sony products. Akio Morita gave each one of them a Sony Walkman. Steve Jobs was thrilled to see the features of Walkman. What did Steve Jobs do with the Walkman? He opened it and saw each and every single part of the Walkman. He did a thorough analysis about the design, build-up, and the finish. According to John Scully, at that time itself, Steve Jobs wanted to bring a product like iPod. Since the product was much ahead of its time, Steve Jobs dropped the idea. But almost after 20 years, he created Apple iPod. Sam Walton picked up his ideas from his competitors. Walmart was started by Sam Walton in USA in 1962. Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, visited almost all department stores in USA. Why? Not here really to buy, but to pick up ideas. Any press point or commendable idea or a strategy would be immediately implemented in his Walmart stores. So, his Walmart stores always had more number of good ideas than any other department store. No wonder Walmart has become the largest retailer in the world. The revenue of Walmart is around 500 billion dollars. Angus Oberoi of Oberoi Hotels picked up his ideas from his competitors. Oberoi Group was founded in 1934 by Emma Oberoi. He made long foreign trips. He traveled to various countries and stayed in big hotels. His main idea was to experience personally the services offered in various hotels. He picked ideas from these hotels and integrated them to his hotels. When he was staying in other soft hotels in various countries, Nobody knew he was the owner of another saw hotel from India. Without revealing his identity, he was taking ideas from his competitors. Taking ideas from competitors is a usual practice in the business world, but the owner of the business doing it personally is surprising. Overall Group has more than 30 hotels worldwide. Traveling in his car. As he was traveling, 
he noticed a family of four struggling on a two-wheeler on a rainy night in Mumbai. He was very upset. But an idea struck him. He wanted to produce a car which could be purchased by a middle-class Indian. So he started Tata Nano. The Tata Nano is manufactured by Tata Motors. Nano is made and sold in India. And the Nano is the cheapest car in the world. Price of 1 lakh rupees. Shadi.com Business idea from a stranger. Anupam Mehta, British MBA from Boston University, USA. Accidentally, he met a managed broker who was carrying few biodata in his bag and going around people's residence and trying to match. But he was paid a commission for the services. One day, if the match materialized, Anupam was wondering how many biodata this marriage broker could carry in his suitcase, how many people he could visit in one month, and how many places this broker could travel. Based on his experience, Anupam Mehta started a matrimonial site, Shadi.com. His company's name is People Grow, and today, Shadi.com is one of the largest matrimonial sites in the world. Business idea from a stranger. In 1971, Gautam Burman was working as a chemistry professor in Canada. As his father was ill, he returned to India to take charge of the family business. His family was running a large distribution company in Uttar Pradesh. But Gautam always wanted to start something of his own. During a strange journey, once he noticed a co-passenger was vigorously oiling his hair. He was surprised and impressed by the product and he desired to make hair oil. With his chemistry background, he experimented for months with oils, herbs and fragrances. He named his product Himgangi and launched in 1987. Today, it is a famous brand in North India. Lion Gates, business idea from a stranger. P. Purnadurai was working as a junior assistant in a government office in Tiruchi, Tamil Nadu. One day, he saw Gates being so loose in an unhygienic condition and he asked the shopkeeper why he could not serve back Gates. The shopkeeper sarcastically told him, why don't you pack and bring it to me? And ideas struck from the stranger. So, Purnadurai started the line date in 1978. It was totally an accidental venture. Today, line dates is the largest date processing company in India. Launched in 1934. Today, 
Himalaya products are used in more than 70 countries. The turnover of Himalaya herbals is more than 1,800 crore rupees. Hello. Uh, uh, even, if, even if you go abroad, one country to another country, people have found small, small ideas. They make it a big thing. Uh, there are a few. I want you to see them.
go ahead with the idea. Next day morning, he went back to Ahmedabad and he had something ambitious in his mind. That was a great success. Had he not missed his friend, he would not have got the idea. The turnover of food king is around 7 crore rupees. Find the sum of red bus. This is a year from missing the bus. In 2005, Diwali time, Fanil Sama was waiting in the bus station, but he could not get a bus ticket to go to his native place. He had to spend the entire Diwali vacation in Bangalore. He missed the bus, but he got an idea to start a business. He started Pirani Soft Labs with his friends under the brand name Red Bus. He started online bus ticket booking portal. The portal is not only helping the passengers, but also beneficial for the bus operators and the travel agents. Yeah. 